Hi, I'm Don Sweeting, president of Colorado Christian University. This 4th of July, we'll be thinking about freedom. When I was growing up, as a boy, we used to sing in our public schools the song, My Country, Tis of Thee. Do you know it? I don't think it's sung much today. The first verse went, My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. You might recognize that last line as a line quoted by Martin Luther King so eloquently in one of his famous speeches. The verse speaks about the blessings of liberty. What many people forget is that the last verse of this song teaches about the special character of liberty. It goes, our fathers God to thee, author of liberty, to thee we sing. Long may our land be bright, with freedom's holy light. Protect us by thy might, great God our King. At our founding, freedom wasn't understood as an absolute thing. Freedom was believed to be under God. We rebelled not against heaven, but against a monarch named King George III. The difference between the American Revolution and the French Revolution is the American Revolution posited a freedom under God, while the French Revolution posited a freedom apart from God. This 4th of July, remember the true nature of liberty. At Colorado Christian University, we teach our students about the true nature of freedom. Some of our students are political science majors, and they'll go on into government and law. All of our traditional undergraduate students are required to study American history. We want all of our students to become great citizens. But most of all, we want them to know the author of liberty. Jesus says, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Thank you for supporting Colorado Christian University. And this Independence Day, don't forget to teach your family and friends about the true nature of liberty.